Hello sixth grade students, I'm Mrs. Watkins, a sixth grade social studies teacher at White County Middle School. On behalf of administration, teachers and staff, we want to welcome you to WCMS. We love it here and we know you are going to love it too. I am now going to go over a short slideshow to help you feel a little more prepared and at ease about what to expect when coming to middle school. I hope you all are enjoying your summer and I cannot wait to see all of your smiling faces. In sixth grade, you will have more teachers, change classes a lot more often, and have two connection periods every day. In sixth grade, you also may play an instrument in the band or become involved in an after-school club such as Beta Club. In sixth grade, you also will become more responsible for organizing your own belongings and supplies and getting them to the right class on time. In sixth grade, you also will use your agenda to help you keep track of assignments and upcoming events. And in sixth grade, you will have more lunch choices. In sixth grade, you will not have a good excuse for being disorganized or unprepared for class. You will not be late for classes and you will not have unexcused absences or tardies without some form of consequence. You need to know that the doors will open at 720. If you eat breakfast at school, you will get a sack breakfast and take to your homeroom to eat. The tardy bell will ring at eight o'clock and after homeroom, you will go to your first and second period classes. Next, you will go to your third and fourth period classes, which are your connection classes. After fourth period, you will go to your fifth period, which is ELT for extended learning time and lunch. You will then go to your remaining academic classes of sixth and seventh period. And at the end of seventh period, you will be dismissed for the day. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Bangman and I am one of the sixth grade social studies teachers at White County Middle School. And I cannot wait to meet you. Today, I'm gonna finish going over um, the what you need to know for sixth grade. So a few things that you need to know is that we are not using lockers this year, but you will be allowed to carry a book bag from class to class. Small cinch string type bags will also be allowed in class. Um, you will be issued a Chromebook to carry from class to class this year, um, and you will use it at school and take it home at the end of the day. However, you must remember to bring it back to school every day. It will be your responsibility to keep up with it. Pictures will not provide you with paper and pencils. It is your responsibility to remember to take your own supplies to each class. You also need to follow the dress code, which will be in your handbook and your agenda um, for you to read. Cell phones. The school policy states that students are not allowed to have their phones turned on at school. So your cell phone must remain turned off in your book bag at all times while you're at school. Um, and parents should refrain from calling or texting their child during school hours. Parents can call the front office if they need to get a message to their child. Okay. Students caught with their cell phones turned on during school hours will have their phones taken away from them and taken to the office on the first offense. If a student is caught again with a cell phone turned on in class, parents will have to make arrangements with the principal to pick up their cell phone. Attendance, you'll have three days to make up work if you are absent and it is your responsibility to get your makeup work from each class you missed. Only five parent excused days per year, not nine weeks or semesters are allowed. Excuses must be received within three days of the student's absence. Not allowed at school. Matches or lighters, any form of tobacco, including vapes, any type of drugs or alcohol, any type of fireworks, please don't bring fireworks to school, <laughs> skateboards, squirt guns, playing cards, electronic games, or toys or weapons. No weapons allowed at school. If you have any questions, feel free to email um, 
any of the teachers um, or call up to the school and we will get your questions emailed as fast as we can. We are putting out a frequently asked questions video, so keep an eye out for that too to help answer your questions. I Again, I look forward to meeting all of you guys and um, I will see you soon.